Well, I, I read an interview in which you were asked uh, about the barriers that people with disabilities face within the health and wellness space. And your response was first and foremost, zero representation. So mm-hmm. you are, obviously there's something in your heart and you're doing the Don Quixote thing again by doing something no one else is doing. And you're trying to tackle something that is a little different. So yeah. what do you mean by first zero representation? I mean, so what do you mean? when I, when I started looking into this, um, you know, it's interesting because it felt very much like a punch to the gut when I had this realization that there was such a, a, a huge, huge gap in the health and fitness uh, industry for people okay. with disabilities. It felt like a punch to the gut for me rather than an aha moment, because I, I knew that I had this experience supporting people. And, you know, if I hadn't seen that gap, then no wonder other people who haven't had that same experience, um, you know, haven't seen the gap either. So lack of representation, you know, if you think about it, first of all, there's a lack of representation for people with disabilities in every single industry. 